Today we at Your Story and Builders Tribe are excited to be unveiling the first ever Top 25 Web3 Innovators list. This is a specially curated list of the 25 most promising Indian founder-led startups in the blockchain segment. Also, these 25 finalists will each receive a non-tradable NFT as an award commemorating and proving their status as a finalist of the Top 25 Web3 Innovations cohort. For awarding the 25 startup finalists with these NFTs, your story has partnered with WISE, which is an NFT infrastructure and API toolkit startup. This also coincidentally makes us one of the first Indian media firms to foray into the world of NFTs for rewarding Web3 startup innovation. And all of you in Web3 would definitely know Builders Tribe, right? These guys are one of the best Web3 partners out there for startup incubation, grants, acceleration, networking, community building, and much, much more. It's been absolutely amazing working with them over the last few weeks, working very closely to identify some of the best Web3 projects out there. Now, let me share a little bit more about why we at Your Story are building this list and building this cohort. You know, over the past 10 to 12 years, we have been presenting the Tech 30, which has been our specially curated list of India's top 30 early stage tech startups. You know, the 300 plus Tech 30 startups that we've come up with so far, some of which including the likes of Freshworks, Miramai, Pixel, Chargebee, and so many more, cumulatively have raised growth capital of more than $2 billion, created tens of thousands of jobs, valued at several billion dollars, and attracted investments from over 400 investors. Coming to Web3, right? So with, with your stories foray into the blockchain space recently, the time has come now to curate and build cohorts of innovative and disruptive Web3 projects. And these are some of the projects that we have, that we feel have the potential to solve Web3 problems at scale and also possibly define the future of the metaverse. You know, being at the forefront of reporting innovations and technological advancements in India, we aim to help these startups achieve their dreams by giving them a platform to tell their stories, meet investors, collaborate with ecosystem experts and enterprises, raise funding, and take their startups to the next level. So guys, we urge all of you watching, you know, read and share this report of the 25 Web3 startups. It's available all across our website. We will share the link with you here as well. Reach out to any of us and we'll be more than happy to share the report with you. We've also been working very closely with Woodstock Fund for a lot of our Web3 initiatives, including this report. You know, they are one of the OGs in Web3 investing. And it's my pleasure now to welcome Pranav Sharma, founding partner at Woodstock Fund, to talk more about the report and to share some key highlights. Over to you, Pranav. Thank you. Uh, so first of all, thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, I personally look up to your story and definitely the entire country India look up, looks up to uh, your story for creating a phenomenal platform for uh, inspiring a generation of entrepreneurs and essentially creating that editorial sanctity and the masterpiece so that the voice of the entrepreneurs is heard without uh, contamination. So I definitely want to con congratulate here uh, your story to also make their overtures and their move into Web 3.0, which essentially is a pledging space. And of course, India as a country has a huge role to play. Um, phenomenal plural society. A lot of people who are outsiders find it extremely chaotic. But we as Indians, we see this as a melting pot of communities. And essentially, that is what Web 3.0 in many ways is. So, so many applications to be built, so many problems to be solved, so much action to happen. And I think what's happening right now in Web 3.0 in India is phenomenal. We have certain beacons, certain, uh, you can say, platforms like Polygon, for example, or let's say by economy, which is also part of the report, which I'm going to just you know, mention in a while, which have created a space for various, you know, uh, Web3 startups in India, uh, or even the emerging Web3 startups in India, or those founders who are looking at building Web3 startups in India to find inspiration, and I would say most importantly, a playbook, so that they can build global enterprises on a massive scale. So I just want to uh, share here is that this report that your story is coming up with is a phenomenal uh, starting point of building a masterpiece, uh, which will only grow and improve as Web 3.0 sort of you know scales and grows in India. And this report sort of covers a wide spectrum of uh, startups, and you know these startups you know range from all across the usual suspects, which is like NFTs and DeFi that all of you are 
I mean, you must have you know seen uh, across various forums, heard about it, and are interested to participate. But also on the other end are things which are related with more social good, like you know water conservation or you know finding uh, ways and means of you know creating more inclusive infrastructure around farms, etc. You know on ground. And in many ways, this is also testimony not only to India as a country which requires so many problems to be solved, but it is also about blockchain as a technology that it creates an open canvas and open framework uh, for these problems to be solved and for a lot of these founders to come together and find you know ex expression and uh, some sort of identity and over a span of time phenomenal rewards uh, on a global arena. So I think so. I just you know want to congratulate this. There are some high level numbers which you know I have seen which have you know come together because of the participation in this report is that you know 70 percent of the applicants um, uh, basically are current uh, blockchain ventures you know so essentially these are the ones who are already building blockchain ventures so how i read this is that they are uh, sort of missing a munch if i may use that word which is a which is an indian name as a platform which can actually showcase their good work so once again, I think creating a platform like a report like this gives a possibility for these startups to be recognized. So, so this is seventy percent as an existing blockchain startups, but I'm sure this uh, these percentages will change as a lot of you know uh, founders will see that these startups are doing phenomenal work, but they can do a lot more to contribute and excel in this particular space. The second uh, thing which I want to uh, share here is that. So one of the data points you know, that I found is that more than 70% of the startups have a team size below 20. So that means that blockchain space is very nascent. So the opportunities are galore, uh, definitely. And you know, a lot of action is happening in terms of finding the right kind of opportunities and solving the right kind of problems. But a lot more it is you know, has to do with uh, you know these applications are yet to get you know, built what's one of time. And I think one more way of looking at this is that maybe you don't require too many people uh, for solving some of these problems, uh, because essentially, like WhatsApp itself, you know, was built with that's 35 devs, it became a billion, multi-billion dollar, you know, company over a span of time, and that is a power that is also there in Web Reporto in many ways. Uh, but having said that, I, I would you know sort of uh, align with a view that we are still very early. That means the founders who think that there is not enough headspace, please don't shake up yourself unnecessarily. There's a lot of headspace for you to step in into this space and make your efforts and you know count and build those stellar enterprises startups and enterprises over a span of time when it comes to investors you should also look at this as a very nascent space so as woodstock you know, we have done a phenomenal job so far but having said that um it's it's still very early in terms of you know supporting uh, these web3 companies so i'll just give a shout out that if you can build a founder centric world wherein uh, you know we can actually support and strengthen these you know founders and these startups and these their teams uh, to excel on a global arena i think it can be a fun, phenomenal space uh, for all of us to uh, contribute and uh, accelerate our journey together um, other thing is that uh, there is also uh, one of the fastest you know uh, growing skills you know among developers in the blockchain category and of course there are these startups which are also looking at you know how they can attract maximum number of developers which is a new oil data is a new oil of blockchain but developers is the new oil of a founder who's looking at you know building those phenomenal uh, applications which can you know uh, change uh, the way you know things operate over a span of time so definitely um, you know uh, these uh, startups are seeking the most talented developers you know out here so i'll just you know give a shout out uh, without going deeper into the list that you know uh, if you are let's say a developer who's looking at or let's say a developer means a tech developer who's looking at making a career or supporting some of the promising startups in the country and these are the startups to go to there's one more small trivia that you know number that came is that approximately 40 percent of the projects are bootstrapped while more than 50 percent of the startups have raised more than 10 million in funding now that is a phenomenal shift so what it means is that there are those who have raised funding and there are those who are very early stage and i think the message you know here i would you know give here is that those who have raised funding essentially are scaling up and building up to become global enterprises and focus a lot more on creating that presence you know that you know they seek for the products and services and the other end of the spectrum is you know those uh, startups which are still seeking those funding because their product is very early because the team composition is still you know coming together etc so look at this as an inspiration wherein let's say you can look at those who have raised funding who have scaled up who have gravitated and you know become uh, uh, scalable players 
that how can you take that playbook and how can you become super successful um so so this is another piece in which i would say sh- uh, share here is that i just want to share here is that you know from a fund perspective at woodstock fund uh, we are focused a lot more on supporting uh, very early stage you know startups and even we are further you know sort of accelerating our focus on the later stages as well as we go forward and our intention is very simple that if you are a founder who is essentially solving a very complex <clears throat> problem then we are there for you to support you in the journey but more importantly we are very keen to support the next generation of building blocks which will essentially shape up the web 3.0 and as you all would agree that web 3.0 is a lingo but uh, and is sort of a buzzword but it is also an evolving framework which is essentially what internet should have been in the first place more participative more consumer oriented consumers having a better control and monetization ability for the data so as a fund we are investing into the infrastructure uh, decentralized finance tokenization both fungible and non fungible tokenization you call it as call as nfts when you say uh, fungible tokenization it is essentially tokenization of real world assets and web3 quantum protocols to put it very simply we are investing into the technology stack which is essentially going to become a lot more robust over a span of time and the key components here are definitely the fundamental layers and the middleware which is very important for creating some sort of a movement as you focus a lot more on the application layer so essentially the value and even the maturity as the maturity of the stack grows the action will shift to the application layer and also the the fundamental value will roll back into uh, the fundamental technology stack itself so this is a flywheel kind of an action that you know we foresee as a fund and that is why we are essentially focusing a lot more on fundamental building blocks and taking that journey you know forward there uh, we are in the fund to of our journey and we are also investing into later stage you know startups uh, and uh, the essential you know component i just want to share here is that our focus is to build a east to west corridor so essentially if you are a indian founder and you are building some phenomenal stuff we also are strengthening our presence in us uh, so we are happy to like support you and be there and essentially if you are let's say somebody who is already a global founder and because essentially even our portfolio is about 35 to 40% founders of indian origin then uh, we are happy to also support those global founders to access india and the indian talent so that this becomes a uh, sort of a global play and uh, so in that sense the thought that i will leave behind you know here is that at woodstock we are committed to the path of globalization of web 3.0 and essentially our intention here is to invest in a broad spectrum of you know applications as well as the tool uh, tools which are emerging which are the fundamental flywheels of you know this particular space but essentially we are committed to the founders and uh, their journey so just rolling back the entire piece about woodstock to what your story is your story has given us a platform Uh, to share our views you know with you similarly your story has also created a phenomenal platform for founders so far as in the traditional entrepreneurial journey to have you know their uh, you know expression and them to be included in the mainstream it is similarly creating a phenomenal opportunity for web3 startups to also get that kind of uh, visibility and that kind of attraction at footstock we are committed to the vision of uh, um, your story and uh, their intention to carve out and create uh, this with uh, editorial sanctity and we are looking forward to contribute you know to this in many more ways and supporting metaverse you know summit is just a starting point where essentially this is all about alignment of uh, values and alignment of a common vision to shape up uh, i would say uh, strengthen the founders you know strengthen the country in the process and take the journey forward So thank you very much I would only say that uh, I wish all the best you know to all the founders I wish all the best you know to the investors who are looking at this space I also wish you know, all the best to all the stakeholders who are looking at this space with healthy skepticism on one side and also looking at this from an active participation on the other side and we need everyone in this space for this space to become a thriving space so thank you uh, very much to everyone uh, for you know being there in this space and making this uh, chaotic yet evolutionary journey of f3 happen thank you